What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new team of the group stage, Tiago de Jalo, to review. It's a card that looks absolutely top tier. And by the way, I think that's how you pronounce his second name. I'm not 100%, but yeah, look at the stats, man. 87 pays, 78 dribbling, 84 defending, 87 physicals, with a 74 passing as well. And on top of that, he's a 6 foot 3 centre back. So that reach is about to be crazy good. Medium high work rates, two star skill moves, and a three star weak foot. He's at a plus 11 overall from his original card. He used to be a silver card. He's also had like a plus four to his pace, a plus four to his dribbling, a plus 11 to the shooting, a plus 14 to his passing, a plus 10 to defending, and a plus 10 to the physicals as well. And there's not much to say, is there? The card so far looks absolutely amazing now i have picked him up for 410k so he's not a cheap center back you know he's no kempembe going for like 30k no he is a 410,000 coin center back now i feel like he's going for that price right now because of the renato sanchez that signature signings renato sanchez card obviously you get a hyperlink with your boy tiago so it's like it's kind of understandable why he's going for that price, but I still feel like that's probably going to be a little bit too much. But you never know, right? He could be better than your boy Kempembe. I don't want to judge too early. Now, the chem style I have gone for is the Shadow Chem style. Even though he's got 87 pace on the card, we need more pace. And there's literally no point, by the way, of going for any other chem style. Like, there's no point of going for an anchor chem style because his strength is 95 so you might as well just make him as fast as possible with the shadow chem style giving him 95 acceleration and 98 sprint speed the shooting obviously doesn't matter we push that to a side the passing ability it's okay you know it's okay it's not looking too bad 85 short passing 80 long passing i'll happily take down a center back he's dribbling ability though for a six foot three center back with those kind of dribbling stats it's something you don't see very often. Usually when someone like six foot three, six foot four, they tend to have like 60 agility, right? They don't really have anything higher than that. But my boy Tiago has got 84 agility, 88 reactions, 81 ball control, 74 dribbling with the 84 composure as well. I can tell you right now, he's turning ability. So let's say the ball is going over him. That turning ability to him to just move his body right to left I can tell it's going to be quick. I can definitely tell because of those dribbling stats. Now, he's defending stats. Look how much of a joke it actually is. Keep in mind, he's six foot three. That interception reach, that tackle reach is something he's going to have with 95 interceptions, 82 heading accuracy, 89 defensive awareness, 96 stand and tackling, and 97 slide tackling as well. And looking over to his physicals, he's got 79 jumping. For a six foot three player, I'll happily take that. I don't need anything like crazy higher than that. I would like it. I really wouldn't mind it because that means he'll be guaranteed to win literally every single head. It's just if he's six foot three, it was 79 jumping. That's perfectly fine. He's got 73 stamina though. That could be a tough one because you know how near enough everyone's rolling around with like Gelson Martins, Benzema, the flashback card, Mbappe and stuff. Being able to catch up to, the, to those kind of players for the whole of the 90 minutes 73 stamina might be a little bit of an issue. So at the end of this, when I'm reviewing the card, let's say, I will actually tell you guys if it's going to be enough. Now, he has got 95 strength as well. As I said, the guy is an absolute beast. He should be bodying literally everyone. And he has got 84 aggression as well. Now, the links, as I told you guys, Ligon, Portuguese, and he plays for Lille. So you get that hyperlink with Renato Sanchez. You also get weak links with like Hakimi, Kempembe, Donnarumma. And your boy Nakata as well. Nakata always somehow sneaks in to this team. Every single player of you. Either way, Thiago will be playing in one position and one position only. It will be the centre-back position. So let's get into the games. I'm going to push out slightly with him. I don't want to overcommit just in case he gets past us. He puts in a good tackle. Nice turn. I tried to see how good his agility is. I want to see if I can maybe get this ball, but we can't. But Donnarumma does end up saving us there. But it was a good tackle for him. It's just I tried to do a little bit more than I needed to do gonna pass her across isn't he i'm gonna step there there you go keep it calm with that strength just to hold off the play nice little turn as well give it a switch of play that is with the three star weak foot and it's a pretty decent pass he's gonna play down i reckon he is i want to press it but i don't at the same time and that is a terrible terrible fake shot to do in that kind of occasion and you see those long legs by the way beautiful beautiful slide tackle done another one too no i actually thought he was gonna pass it as well we did do well to get out to him 
It's just now we've pushed him out of position. And did you see how fast he was actually running back into position there? All I needed to do, by the way, is switch to him and put in a tackle and we got the ball back. Now let's see what we can do of this corner. He's up against, he's up against Kunde. Surely, right? He's not even facing. He didn't even get locked onto it. Like, what am I seeing? There's a through ball there. I need to just cover this. Make sure he doesn't get in behind. And there you go. Really nice tackle. Aggressive tackle as well, by the way. Completely putting the play onto the ground. Don't allow that through ball. He's going to turn us, isn't it? There you go. Shield him off. Be composed. Go for a ball roll. I need to just pass back to my keeper. I don't want to try anything like stupid, let's say, because I know I'll end up losing the ball there and we'll end up conceding. Go forward here. Come on. Use that strength. There you go. Hold off that player. Look how fast he is, man. I'm going to go for this overtop through ball, by the way, because I see it's literally wide open. And with Tiago, oh my god, mind. With Tiago not having bad passing ability, I'm expecting those kind of passes to actually work. Surely he's going to pass one more. No. Oh, he's done a nice skill move there. Well played. Really good tackle. I knew he was going to go for that fake shot because he's done it a few times now. I'm going to push out slightly here. I don't want to overcommit this, but I want to be quite aggressive. And look at that, by the way. Against Benzema as well. He just like moves him off the ball. Get that ball. There you go. Nice little ball roll. I do want to test out his passing again, but I want to be quite careful because I have noticed his dribbling ability... Oh, it's offside. Yeah, we got lucky. His dribbling with the T honestly isn't the greatest. There's like certain touches he takes, which is a little bit, you know, a little bit questionable. He goes a little bit too far and he doesn't have like a quick reaction towards it either. It's like, I don't really know how to explain it. Like there's these certain angles he takes. It just feels a little bit weird. Get out to him. Don't allow him to get past him. There you go. Solid tackle, man. Gets out to him really nicely as well. 1v1 against Benzema. Is he going to continue running? He is going to continue running. But your boy Kempembe is there to help us out a little bit. That's a nice turn. Let's go for the switcher play. It's literally wide open. So yeah, I'm expecting a nice pass. That's a good pass to Benzema. Put in that solid tackle. Or just use your strength. And what kind of animation have I just witnessed? All I wanted, by the way, was him just to put in a good tackle. That's literally it. He tried to use his strength. Okay, whatever. But then what kind of animation is that? And what am I seeing here? That's going to be a turn. Don't make sure he doesn't shoot early here. There you go, man. That's a really, really good block. I like how we got out to him as well quite quickly. 1v1 against Benzema. That's a decent fake shot. But look at that possession-based tackle from Thiago, by the way. He didn't allow that to bounce at all. He just allowed it to stick onto his feet. That is something I want to see from my centre-backs. I don't want to see it, you know, bouncing everywhere. Good through ball. Make sure he doesn't shoot well played, man. He's putting in some nice blocks, by the way. He always getting in front of the player there. Not allowing some easy early shot to actually come off, let's say. And we are through on goal here. Can we finish it? Carrasco. What are you doing? He's going to pass back up. He actually didn't. Look how fast, by the way, we're out to him. And he still somehow has the ball. And we have to put in a last ditch tackle with Thiago there. Get that? Well played. Go for that ball roll. Go for a turn there. Anyone? I do see you, Benzema. I'm going to go for it as well. Come on, Benzema. Get onto it, please. Get onto it. There you go, man. Hey, I'm really impressed, by the way, with his passing ability. Like, with the vision being low, I thought sometimes the passing like that was going to struggle. But honestly, he hasn't struggled a single time. He's going to pass to the edge there. I'm going to actually go for a slide tackle, by the way. And that seemed like the coolest slide tackle I've ever seen. He was just so calm with it. It looked like he was slide tackling like this. Like, what did I just witness? There was like no aggression to it as well. It was like, all right, I'm just going to come here, collect the ball. Thank you. There's a run there. I need to mark that. Can I get that ball to Yago? Yes, I can, man. If you actually saw there, by the way, he was actually trying to mark Benzema from running in behind there, which was actually pretty nice from him. So the fact that he was marking Benzema and he was already in that position, so I can obviously just go ahead and go for that tackle was amazing and that's a chip and a half he's gonna throw all that in the bind isn't he 100% he is I'm gonna continue going with him and Tiago hmm <laughs> hmm I don't know how he doesn't come out with that ball that was quite questionable but we are gonna go for the switch I play here and that's an amazing pass what a touch from Benzema by the way 1v1 he's actually tried to beat us for pace there but once again man Tiago has this thing by the way where he easily catches up to the player but then he instantly shields off the player automatically and I don't mind that at all to be fair because there's been a lot of occasions where I can just collect possession easily and just take my time so it is time to review and we ended up playing three games with Tiago. we didn't get a goal but we did 
come out with a single assist. And it's understandable why we came out with an assist because his passing ability honestly wasn't bad. Like you look at 69 vision, you look at the 80 long passing, you think to yourself, okay, the switch of plays may be decent, but then as soon as you go for like an overtop through ball, that's when it's going to become really, really questionable. And honestly, it wasn't. It didn't feel like 69 vision. It didn't feel like 80 long passing. Like you were seeing it. Sometimes it was going directly onto the player. Other times it was going ahead of the player, allowing him just to run onto the ball. So yeah, you can use him as like a ball playing center back as well. You don't have to use Thiago as like a sitting back center back, just putting in the interceptions and putting in the tackles. No, you can move him forward slightly and use him as like a playmaker in some areas. Obviously don't go for it every single time because it isn't the most consistent thing. But his passing is still better than what it says on the card. 69 vision, 80 long passing. I do not believe so. Now his pace. His pace was really, really good. Like catching up to players. Transition speed with the agility reactions coming into play as well. Felt amazing. He's not one of those players that with his transition feels heavy. He's not one of those players that if you commit too far to the side, you're not, you're not allowed, let's say, to go back to the other side quite, quite quickly. No, he is one of those players that you move to the left. It doesn't matter if you fully commit, you can move back to the right instantly. And that is because of that agility. That is because of the reactions as well. So yeah, he's really, really good with the pace, catching up the players. And his transition speed is also insanely good. Defending ability. Tackles, amazing. Side tackles, amazing. Defensive awareness was something I was extremely, extremely impressed about, by the way. He's always doing something. He's rather man marking. He's rather cutting the lanes. That is literally it. He's always tracking something. You don't just see Thiago just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. No, he will always be doing something to help out your defense, which I felt was absolutely amazing, like genuinely amazing. And the physicals as well, you saw it. How easy it was to him to get in front of players just Telling him, hey, listen, I've got 95 strength, you know, I can just move you out of the way. I can come collect this ball easily. And he was doing that over and over and over again. And the thing is as well, his shielding ability is top tier. Not many players can get around this guy with his shielding ability. You shield that ball off, good luck getting past. That's all I have to actually say. Now, do I believe he is worth the 410,000 coins he's going for. No. Listen, when you can pick up a player like Kempembe for like 30, 40k, and you can pick up like a Marquinhos for like 70k, you are never going to spend 410k on a Thiago. You just genuinely ain't. And I don't care what the link says, you know, that hyperlink with Renato Sanchez, whatever, right? 410k, it's not worth it. It straight up isn't. Now, do I believe Thiago is better than Kempembe, and do I believe he is better than Marquinhos? Because I know a lot of people are going to be saying, is he better than Kempembe? Is he better than Marquinhos? Listen, I would say he's got a better tackling ability because of the reach he actually has to his game. But I'm going to be honest to you guys, with how Kempembe is in this game and with how Marquinhos is in this game, I'm definitely taking Kempembe and Marquinhos over this Thiago card. Now, where would he go in the defender's tier list? Would he go into the A tier? Would he go into the S tier? I think this card is I think this card is better than Virgil van Dijk. I do. I feel like he's better than Dante as well, which I also put into the A tier. I say Tiago definitely goes into the S tier for me. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.